friends, I'm so excited about today's video. I've teamed up with my friends over at Smart Planet Plants to incorporate a bunch of fun and colorful succulents into my privacy fence refresh. Let's get into today's video. So lately I've been giving a refresh to past projects and this is one of them. This privacy screening that I built for our porch area. When you come out here, it's the view that we have of our neighbors. So this is just to give us a little bit of privacy, but it's not doing everything that I would like. So we're gonna give it an upgrade on both sides, change out the plants to something a little bit more fun. Let's get to it. How so cool. Oh, he likes the, oh, you like the succulents. I'm gonna plant them, come back. Oh, that was so cool. Okay, well, apparently the hummingbirds like the succulents, so we're definitely going with a lot of those. That was so cool. Okay, I'm gonna give a light pressure washing to this, let it dry, and then we're gonna give a good sealing to it. Okay, now that it's all been pressure washed and it's dry, I'm gonna give it a nice coat of a marine varnish from Total Boat. That way it's all nice and sealed, and then we'll uh, assess the backside to make it a little bit more uh, privacy. All right, I wasn't gonna put a finish on these slats because I figured I was just gonna cover them, but now I'm realizing you're gonna see just a little bit of each slat. So I'm gonna give a quick little coat of some Lust High Gloss Marine Varnish from Total Boat, slap it on there, and then I'll put my slats up that are gonna cover it. It'll just be easier if I do it beforehand rather than trying to get into that tight little space. Okay, in order to give this privacy fence a little more privacy, but as well as give it a little structural integrity so I can hang some planters on the other side, I'm gonna install some two by threes and some two by fours every other that's gonna block out these slats. It'll give me some textural element on this side, but it'll also give me some strength to be able to mount some planter boxes on this side. So let's get to it. Okay, now that I got the slats up that are giving me structural integrity as well as more privacy, I'm gonna cover the pocket holes with just some trim on that side. But now that we have structure, let's make some planter boxes to hang on this side. Got a bunch of fun succulents and plants that we're gonna plant in the planter boxes. I picked up some cedar fencing planks. Uh, these were like two something a board, but they're great for, um, for building planter boxes. So I'm gonna rip down a little channel on the bottom using the table saw. That way we can put the bottoms in. We'll cut it on the miter saw to make different size boxes. So let's, uh, let's get to it. Okay, so I got all the grooves cut out on the bottom of these, but I'm having a thought where I don't want all the planter boxes to be the same height. So I think I'm gonna cut a couple of these in half, which will give me smaller little planter boxes. Cause I do have some of these smaller little plants that I think will look really cute in smaller boxes. So, cut a couple of these in half, do the same groove on the other side. That'll give me like a half size box. Let's, uh, let's keep, keep moving along. Okay, I have quite a few boxes made in different sizes, heights, and widths. They all have little bottoms cut out for the, um, the grooved section, so they just slide in like that, easy assembly. I don't wanna to have to do a lot of sanding on these because it is rough cedar, so I'm probably just gonna like do a, like a quick sand on the fronts, which is the part you're gonna see. Um, and then we'll do some assembly. I feel like I need a couple more boxes though. This doesn't really feel like, I know it looks like a lot, but it doesn't feel like a lot for what I wanna, for what I wanna do. So we have quite a few, quite a few succulents to incorporate. So I'm gonna make a couple more boxes and then we'll start assembly. Well, that's a lot of boxes. Uh, now that they're all assembled, I'm gonna give it just a rough sand on all of them, just kind of clean them up. Cedar is really soft wood and these are really light, so they won't need a lot. And I also want them to still kind of look rough and rugged. I'm not trying to get them like super perfect. Uh, so I'm just gonna do a rough sand on all these, make them nice and clean. And then uh, we'll put some marine varnish on them so they'll be watertight, drill some holes at the bottom for uh, drainage, and then assemble them and plant. Let's get to it. Okay, all of the boxes have got a nice good sanding on them. And of course, as soon as I went to go put a finish on them, it started to sprinkle out. Our weather has been crazy in California right now. We're having like humid hot weather and then it rains. So I was gonna use a sprayer to just spray all these, but I wanna finish this up and the weather is just not conducive for that. So I'm gonna use a little Lust 
a little special brush thinner to thin it down and I'm just gonna brush it on like crazy give a nice coat on all of them the bottoms the tops the sides so that they're all watertight then we can hang them on the wall and start planting tomorrow so let's uh, get a coat of lust on these Okay, now that all the boxes have gotten multiple coats of finish and they're dry, I'm gonna lay them out into design and see what we're working with for hanging them on the privacy fence. And once they're actually hung, I might give them one more coat of marine varnish just along the front. But let's lay these out into design and see what we're working with and how we're gonna plant everything. All right, I think I have a good layout of using the amount of boxes that I wanna use for the outside. I left myself enough boxes in different sizes for the inside so I have you know both sides that I'm working with I've measured it out I think this is kind of the layout obviously it might change once I start actually mounting them but uh just kind of placed a couple plants in there I'm liking the way it looks I went heavier towards the bottom because that's the area I'm gonna actually be able to see once it gets a little higher I won't be able to see them as much so I want to be able to see the really fun ones down here but I'll have some of the drapey ones at the top so uh let's get to it let's mount all these boxes well, it was going great, and then I realized I kind of painted myself into a corner with going from top to bottom. I really should go bottom to top, that way I have room for my drill, and it's not bumping into the boxes, and I'm not like constrained to where my spacing is. So I'm going to switch it up and start from the bottom and work my way up. I might have to move those. I'm going to leave them for now, but learning lesson on this and I would definitely probably mount these a different way next time if I was going to do this project. Oh, these planter boxes look so good. They don't even have plants in them yet and I'm so excited about this. It looks so good from all the different angles. I love the dimension and the different sizes of the boxes. I'm kind of wondering if I should have made more boxes, but I have enough plants for these boxes so we could always add more later. Oh, this just makes me so happy. It looks so good. Now we're just uh, gonna have to plant all the plants and make it look even better. Let's get to it. Okay, it's the fun day of planting all of these boxes. I got all of my succulents laid out. That we're gonna be working with. Everything's got a nice coat of varnish on it and it has dried overnight, so. I got my bucket of soil with a scoop. I got my sphagnum moss that I'm gonna wet down so that I can sprinkle it in throughout. It'll probably be in these areas here so that it'll hold the soil in. But let's get to the fun part of planting these boxes. Okay, I'm gonna place the plants that I want in the different areas, just in, set them in the boxes, kind of rest them on top if they're the ones that are facing out so I can get a general idea of what I'm thinking. And then I think I'm just gonna plant from top to bottom once I have all the plants laid out. So let's get a game plan together and start putting our plants in the planter boxes. I'm on the home run stretch, about to plant the backside, opened up another bag of stegmi moss, almost had a heart attack. Look what I found inside the moss. It, it, ugh, he's he's hard, he's crisp, he's dead, but I'm not gonna give this any chances. That is definitely a no for me. Um, I really hope that I don't find any other surprises while playing through here. Huh, that, that's a no. That's a no for me. Blech. All right, back to work. We got plants to plant. that I got off Amazon. It's coming so handy. The little scoop, the little poker, and then the little airbrush thing. I didn't think I'd ever use these as much as I had, but it's so helpful. Cool, moving right along. Friends, I am absolutely thrilled with how this privacy fence turned out. I absolutely love all the succulents and how they turned out in the planter boxes. I love the different dimension to it. The front side, the back side, the side view. It makes me so happy. I love that it gives more privacy now and all the different colors from the succulents. Huge shout out and thank you again to Smart Planet Plants for teaming up with me on this project. And until next time, friends, when we do another fun project together.